Well, a common object of criticism I have on the channel is nerdrotic and is increasingly ignorant and stupid reviews of the MCU and the material on there. And Gary's basic central premise for a long time is it's the MCU and there's a feminist conspiracy. It's even a feminist communist conspiracy. But you're too stupid to notice because Disney is brainwashing you. But thankfully, his half million subscribers are waking up to the truth and will enlighten the rest of us. Even among people within the fandom menace who hate Disney, hate Brie Larson, and hate most of what is going on currently with the MCU, actually don't agree here. So we're going to hear Jeff from World Class. He praises Strange pretty highly, and I agree with him. Mary, I, I, it bothered me nobody was like, wait, who named you America? Like that I is the, wondered that too. It didn't stand out to anybody? It, it Well... Those are questions I had, Mad, about the character when she was introduced a few years back and when I used to watch those old Captain Cumming and Diversity in Comics videos back in the golden days. Uh, uh, you know, th those things were prevalent in Marvel books. I was following them, and I was expecting that, and the fact that I didn't get it, man, blew me away. I, they, look, I mean, they have the game. They have her two moms. It's never addressed that they're gay, and I'm pretty sure the only people you see on her planet are the two moms. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So like, yep. it can be inferred that it's a planet of all women. Like, this movie is not heavy-handed. I don't nah. need to make excuses for Disney. They have enough bullshit problems going on right now. But we've always been honest with you in our movie reviews, and we always tell you when these movies feature these things. It's not the crux of our channel. We're not going to sit here and go, is it woke? Does it count a quota? No, it's not. It's a fucking Sam Raimi movie. If you go in expecting Definitely. that, you, you don't don't go in to see the movie if you're going to go look for that because you're going to be angry you don't find it and you're going to pick apart a really kick-ass movie that has never been replicated visually. God damn it, I said it again. Folks, if you've ever read 70s Marvel comics, you know, with the extreme backgrounds and the big floating heads and the dramatic dialogue, they replicated that on film. And it was yep. cool. It wasn't hokey. And you remember, like... Go back and read Avengers number one, folks. There's this famous panel of Loki's eyes floating in the sky. And it looks kind of weird. Like, oh, these giant floating eyeballs. It doesn't look cool. Man, they found a way to use the tr the floating eyes with Wanda. Everything. Like, there wasn't a single frame of this movie that wasn't well thought out from the design. So I have my own issues with world class. And I doubt I'll ever be on the channel. We'll be friends or whatever. You know, they hate The Last Jedi. They don't like Ryan Johnson. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. So they're very clear in the camp. We hate all things Brie Larson. We hate all things Ryan Johnson. But despite what people think that I'm just manufacturing material, whatever else you think, I actually do try to be careful and do research and try to be careful in saying this or that person's on this or that side. Jeff is very strongly fandom menace, so he hates a lot of the Disney Star Wars. But I do give him credit here for not following Gary all the way through with his moronic conspiracy talk. So it does seem to be a split among the fandom. To be fair, yes, a lot of them may be right-wing. Yes, a lot of them may have questionable politics. A lot of them may not know what the hell they're talking about. But Jeff, I would say, is kind of an exceptional case. He actually does know comic books pretty well. He can actually show that. He has a very strong knowledge of Spider-Man and several other characters, as well as basically good background in a lot of these things. I still disagree with him violently, but at least he's done some of his homework. Whereas Gary allegedly has all this knowledge, but he keeps making a lot of mistakes and is sometimes outright lying to people. Well, it could be Gary, who owned a comic book shop, embarrassingly, maybe is not the reader he puts himself out as. Well, that's his prerogative. But it's another thing to put out a invalid conspiracy theory because, as Jeff notes, that's just not in this film. Maybe the MCU is going in a really bad general direction, and maybe there is an emphasis on female characters, that doesn't necessarily add up to feminist conspiracy. It could be part of this content now will have this kind of agenda. That doesn't mean the whole thing on every occasion and every instance will have that agenda. It just seems the wiser thing is to take it on a case-by-case -case basis. And again, I'm not that enthusiastic about the MCU or most of Disney stuff. I'm not. But I do like the sequels, and that puts me in Siberia for some reason. And I do like some of the DC... And I do like some of the Disney content, even the DCEU content. So I think I'm the moderate, and interestingly, what I said about Strange is within the mainstream. And usually the fandom menace really sort of boasts that it's not the mainstream, they've not been bought off, they're in their own space, they're brave, 
outliers, but, you know, Jeff says, and even his criticisms of Strange are fairly mainstream. To be fair to them, there are some people, again, within the fan menace, they're not all white supremacists, or they're not all KKK extremists. I've never said that, but there is a part of it that is filled with a lot of extremists and right-wing nutcases, and Gary and Nerdrotic and Geeks and Gamers are definitely cultivating it. It's definitely a strange brew, because they do have all, quote, black people and Hispanic people, but they are cultivating these racists and homophobes and all this other stuff. And if they, hey, that's their prerogative to be political, that's fine, that's them. What I don't like them, what I don't like is when they're injecting that into fandom discussions, because whatever you think about Spider-Man, he's not a white nationalist, he's not a symbol for fascist extremism. And as a Spider-Man fan, I just find it personally very distasteful. And as someone who read the comics and really knows the character, it's really disgusting to associate that character, created by Stan Lee, a liberal Jew, with these very ugly anti-Semitic and fascist ideologies. So my main issue with them is aesthetic, but they are bringing, I think, a very bad politics into the discussion. And on that point, I don't think that's forgivable. I think that's really awful and disturbing. But again. Looking at the films themselves, yeah, Strange is just what it is. It's a really goofy horror comedy. You may like it, you may dislike it. There may be some moments in it that have questionable political content. But trotting it out as a part of this massive feminist, communist, conspiracy, Illuminati, world order, Kevin Feige is grooming the children to be brainwashed by the Disney gay whatever is like, uh, what? Huh? I mean, you don't like the film, that's fine. But really, just you're conjuring this thing out of wholesale, and it's just not there. It's really not. You can still dislike Disney. You can dislike the MCU. You can even dislike it on political grounds, as well as aesthetic grounds. But yeah, a lot of this conspiracy stuff just is not holding up. Maybe part of it is disturbing, and where it is disturbing and does have feminist propaganda, I think that's fine. Call it out saying every single thing, every single moment, every single frame and strange is dedicated to the uh, communist feminist revolution or whatever. I'm like, I just think you're just lying. Now, whether Gary really is a racist and a homophobe and a fascist, who knows? Maybe he's just dressing up in the KKK outfit for money. That's just as bad, frankly. It's really, really awful stuff on many levels. And, you know, if he just do, does it for the money, that's fine. But him really putting himself out as a comic book expert, I think that really poisons the discussion on many levels. 